get started on my nephew's Welcome to the World Baby card, I wanted to use Prima's Heaven Scent paper collection. So I'm going to use this one as well as some of the cards that come with the collection. And I decided to create this, um, his name in rose gold using um, a PNG that I created. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to need to create the envelope of this little card is the KS Craft A2 envelope. And I thought this was really super cute because it has the little cute flower eyelets and everything perfect for a baby card. So the first thing I want to do is remove the insides here. Okay, and also I'm going to remove these as well, the top of the envelope and this little inside right here. And then I'm going to run this through um, two times on the blue striped side. And I'm gonna do one time for this really cute alpha right here. So I basically have to plan where I'm going to cut these very well so that I have enough left over to do this. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and complete getting these little pieces off. They're so easy. You can just snap them right off. That's what I love about the KS Craft dies. I don't have to like work like crazy to get them off. Um, let me run these through the machine and then I'll be right back. I want to mention really quickly that I want to go ahead and keep these together. I don't want to separate them because then I will, then I won't have so many small pieces. These um, letters and stuff are going to work out just fine, and the backgrounds are going to work just fine being on one thing. Um, in fact, you know, I'll have plenty of words left over if I need them for another time. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. Okay, so now we want to put together our envelope and I want to show you something really quick. You don't want to fold on the dotted line. That's actually the stitched line is your decorative part. I don't know if you can tell on here, but let's see if I get really close up. You can see that there is a embossed line right there and that is actually your fold line. So let's go ahead and get started putting this together. I really love how Nicole gives you the option to make this a policy envelope. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this because I thought it'd be super cute to add a little string closure to this. So what I want to do is I'm going to get out my We Are Memory Keepers hole punch. And because I have a, a larger um, brad right here, then I'm going to have to use a larger hole punch. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a hole right about in, I'm going to just, you know, guesstimate the center here. Okay. Leaving a little bit of space down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my little flower eyelet that she provided in here. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of glue on here because I don't want it to, um, you know, move around a whole lot. I really want this to kind of stay in place. So I hope that makes sense. Now flip this over and furnish that in. Okay. And then now I can go ahead and put my little brad through here. And I think it's going to look super duper cute. I'm going to turn it sideways so I don't have any problems with my closure. Okay. And you could actually create another, um, top to this if you want to cover that up um and i think i actually might do that hold on okay so i went ahead and made an additional one so that i could cover up my brad and keep this as cute as possible i know my sister's gonna love this because this kind of reminds me of when we were little Well, probably more like my sister Mary Kay, but anyway, she'll still remember some of it. We still had these um, when we were younger in my 
um, sister's bedroom, the style um, baby decorations. Okay. Now, at this point, I have my little Brad here, and it is super duper cute. I'm not going to add my string yet, but I do want to create um, my hole for the bottom. So I'm just going to guesstimate where I want it to be. And I want to make sure it's about maybe a half inch down or maybe an inch. One second. I'm going to do about, actually, let's do three quarters. That sounds about right. I'm going to make a slight little pencil mark. And I want it right in the middle here. Okay. Now let me just make sure that looks about right. And it does. I think that looks pretty good. So now I can go ahead and create my other hole. Okay. And then again... I'm going to glue this down. Actually, no, I'm not. I remember now. Hold on, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue. I, I made an additional set. I want to make this eyelid a little bit stronger. So I'm going to glue two together. and put them inside to inside, okay? So now when I'm using my string and it's wrapping around and around, you know, she may keep this as a keepsake. And so I want her to be able to not have to worry about it, you know, coming apart. So that way, if you double these little flowers up, it will really work nicely. And then I can go ahead and put this here. Now I am going to add a little bit of washi tape. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that the envelope or my card that I put in there doesn't catch on there. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And they're not going to see that anyway because it's on the inside. Okay. Super duper cute. Already, I am just loving this. So I'm going to go ahead and fold on my little embossed lines there. Okay. Okay, and now I can go ahead and attach these two together. Just burnish it in extra good one more time. Grab my glue. Oops. Wipe off any excess glue. You don't want to fold you don't want your envelope to be glued shut. Okay. Just going to line it up. And this is why I like using glue. I have a chance to move it around momentarily. Just grab my little wipey here. Okay. 
Now just make sure it's sealed on the three sides. Now you can use a smaller brad if you want to. Um, I only had these big ones, so I just wanted to let you know, you know, it's, it's up to you um, what size brad you're going to use. And then now at this point, I can go ahead and fold on my score line right there just a smidge, you know, not too much. And then I can glue these two together. Okay, so I only added my glue right to where that score line is going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe this up a little bit. I think I got a little too much going on. I'm just kind of spread that out. And then now I can go ahead and burnish this in. Guys, is this not the cutest little envelope ever? Let me get some twine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed some baker's twine. And I got a pretty long piece, so I wouldn't have any problems um, knotting it underneath here. So again, you're going to go ahead and put it underneath this little flower eyelet, right? And then you're just going to do another little knot here. Do it as, you know, tight as you can because you want it to be a pretty skinny looking knot, if that makes any sense. Now I'm going to cut off the excess twine. And hopefully, let me see if I can cut it a little bit more. I really don't want it to show at all. So I'm just going to kind of inch it off. <laughs> okay. And then now I can go ahead and just wrap it around my little brad right here. Is that not super duper cute? You know, you're going to have to work it a little bit, you know, because it's stiff right now. It's not been used yet. But I'm thinking it would just go around about maybe twice. Just use a littler string. Look at how precious that is. Really super cute envelope. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on our card. I just want to let you know that I switched out the baker's twine um, for this button thread. Um, it's a little bit more sturdier and thinner, and it was able to um, hold this charm really well, so I decided to do that. And now all we have to do is go ahead and decorate.
really love how this car turned out. I can't wait to give it to my sister. And we will be so excited to be welcoming NEN into this world in January. So we're so excited to be having a new, a new little baby in the family. So um, I just wanted to let you know that this die is $11.39. It's KS Craft. And don't forget, this is the A2 envelope die. And I will have all the links down below. And also, she is having a sale the 11th and the 12th, um, depending on how much you spend. I think if it's $20... Um, you'll get a free stamp or a free die along with your purchase and they're also having a sale at that time So definitely check out her website and again, like I said, I'll have the links down below y'all have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye guys